but Ole Miss has won the last two games. They've played one of them last week to Arkansas. Georgia beats Florida, beats Texas. Showdown in Oxford. Uh, how do I feel about this game? I think that it could be a really good one. I think that there's a lot at stake in terms of the SEC title race. There's really a lot at stake in terms of you look at Georgia having only the Alabama loss still. They could take a second loss and probably even still make the playoffs. But also, could they not get in with a second loss? They go to Oxford. The thing about these two teams is Ole Miss is dynamic offensively. So is Georgia, but they are more so dynamic defensively. So you ask yourself, is it going to be high scoring? Because Ole Miss, even though it looks improved, still struggles with defense. So because of Ole Miss struggles on defense, Georgia's going to score. Because of Ole Miss offense, they're going to score. Is it going to be a shootout? Then you look at defense. Because Georgia on defense is elite, is it just going to be a blowout? It's in Oxford. It favors Ole Miss as far as the home crowd, but the line favors Georgia just because they're the better team. Haven't looked at the spread. I just, it's obvious, right? You know Georgia's favored in this game. Uh, it's almost a 50 50 game in my book. I say that Jackson Dart has to play phenomenal in this game. Uh, you know, I look at Carson Beck. I think he's got to play phenomenal, phenomenal in this game as well. I think both teams have talented receivers. I think good defensive backs for Georgia are going to be key if they can play that good man-to-man -man covers they love to play. If they can pick off a quarterback, you know, they nine times out of ten, if they could – you know, force turnovers and everything, they win the game. Uh, of course, that's obviously how it is in football. But the big thing about Georgia is they can, not all the time, but can score off the turnovers, whether they score on a turnover or get the ball back, and then they go down and score to take the lead, to run the score up, to whatever, uh, you know. I'll say this, you know, both of these teams are good, a lot at stake. Georgia could take their second loss. Ole Miss has two losses. If two lost teams, we keep saying this, if they can make the playoffs, is Ole Miss still alive? They won't be if they lose this game. They're not taking a three-loss team into the playoffs. But, but, you know. I think Ole Miss could win this game. I don't know if I can pick them, though. Can I? I just don't trust their defense. I don't. I think Carson Beck could have a better game. Can he have a game without interceptions, though? That's a good question. I think that's the big key issue. Even though he's a great quarterback, he can find his receivers. He has turned the ball over a lot. Uh, you know, they might have beat Texas, but I think he had one or two picks in that game. They lost to Alabama. He had picks in that game. So, can Carson Beck limit turnovers when he's out there on the field? Can he have a perfect game? Now, I'm not saying you complete every pass, but can he have a perfect game in the turnover margin? Against Ole Miss's defense? I mean, we're talking about Lane Kiffin. I love Lane Kiffin. Offensive genius. Pete Golding. Defensive coordinator. <laughs> I've been waiting to say that in this video. Uh, defense is not good for Ole Miss. It's looked good at times. You know, they can do some things right. They can force some punts. They can force three and outs. It's not the best, though. And compare that to Georgia. I see no reason to pick Georgia or pick against Georgia in any game going forward until maybe we hit the SEC title game or postseason. Uh, depending on who they play. But I think they could finish out the regular season pretty strong. This is an elimination game with Ole Miss already having two losses. If Georgia loses, they're still in the hunt for the CFP, and so is Ole Miss. But if Georgia wins, then it turns out Ole Miss will lose, 
and Ole Miss probably not making the playoffs. Let me know your score predictions down below. I don't want to mess with the score. Ah, screw it. Let's do it. Let's do a score prediction. I'm going to take Georgia. Let's take them. I'm going to go 35 to 24. 35 24. They win by a couple possessions and pull it away and pull it out in Oxford. They get the job done. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I love y'all. Ballard Sports Media. Check it out. We'll see you.